me a lot, Agora Financial. I've brought it up to you a ton. They spun off a couple of their brands and they tried to do a SPAC. And when they tried to do a SPAC, the company that they were SPACing with just like kind of like went down, like dropped like significantly. So they there was already a publicly traded company that was going to buy right. a, a, a few Agora brands. The stock went down big time, but that's not that important. What's important is the numbers behind this paid newsletter business. So there's this company called, um, actually, I don't know what they call this little, it's a subsidiary of Gordon, of, of Agora. I think they call it Beacon Hill. It owns right. six, oh, sorry, 12 different newsletter brands. Collectively, those newsletter brands do where did i put the number 550 million dollars in revenue and 200 million dollars in profit and by the way growing seven, that grew 77 percent over last year is that crazy now i'm going to tell you all some more numbers they have 10 million free subscribers so kind of like the hustle that's like they've got 10 million of that uh this is even wilder they have 550,000 people paying them 600 up between $1 and $600 for subscribers. Then they have a quarter of a million people paying them $600 to $5,000. And finally, they have 100,000 people paying them more than five grand for a product, for a paid newsletter. And what is in this paid newsletter? What's the what so is here's this where things bundle that's gets, over five gets grand? way here's where things get way crazier. They have some paid newsletters that cost thirty five thousand dollars. Now the reason why what gets crazy what gets crazy with this is that they have a hundred and sixty products across 12 brands. So what's that math? So each each brand has uh 12, th- 12 or thirteen uh products and the products, I don't even understand. But basically, I understand the business model. The business model is they get you to buy a $50 or $49 thing. Then they get you to buy a $2,000 thing. And they're, and so they get you to buy that $49 thing. And that $49 thing is like a monthly paid newsletter. Like it's not significant. Right. I don't understand how they get it to work. And a large percentage of those $49 people buy the $2,000 thing. Okay. So, but I feel like... Okay, so these must be B two B newsletters, right? No, they're not. Uh, I, yeah, that, that's an important part that I left out. Nearly all of this is around, and we'll link to their deck. So they have a whole deck when they they they. It's kind of scammy. So they it's a financial and a wellness company, which is kind of weird. They're talking about health and they're talking about wellness. And if you click Agora <laughs> up there, Sean, under my name, you'll see the deck. Yeah, they say that the their deck, yeah. their target demographic is self directed investors. What's that mean? Well, I'm going to tell you if you're looking at the website, it's just a bunch of old kind of wealthy white people who are probably Republican. And because the reason I think this is they have ads that say like Nancy Pelosi is coming for your guns. You better invest in these eight stocks. Like they say like crazy <laughs> shit like that. Right. It's um, basically the like Motley Fool on, uh, you know, steroids, right? Yes. Uh, but I think Motley Fool's ethical. These guys aren't. They also sold a book on how to cure diabetes. But, okay. <laughs> I was going to ask you why do you think they're unethical? And then you answered my question. And so it's all financial news, financial newsletter, financial news related stock picks. And it's just a, just a crazy story. I've brought this up tons of time. We don't have to spend too much time on it, but it's pretty wild to actually see these numbers. I actually guessed that this is how big they were. Now we have proof. Yeah, you've been talking about Agora as like, you know, doing hundreds of millions of dollars. And, you know, some people know about them, but I I would say most people don't know about this empire. And most people, I mean, this blows away most people's expectations of, you know, paid newsletter, right? Like, oh, I'll, you know, like I just had a paid newsletter as an individual, right? I made, you know, a few hundred thousand dollars total and I thought I was crushing it. And these guys are making hundreds of millions of dollars. So when you look at this, my honest, my honest reaction is, Dude, why couldn't you have done this with the hustle? Why, what, what did they do? Or what was the, why was the hill too hard to climb where you could scale like this? Cause this is huge. I don't think it was too hard to scale. I think I could have done it. I would say that this business has been around since the seventies. Right. So it's kicking ass now. It didn't always kick ass. If you're willing to be patient, you can do it. Second of all, if you're willing to put your ethics aside a little bit, it actually is quite easy to do. It helps. So it's not okay, easy, how would you simple. how would you do this? You let's say you want to be these guys or beat these guys. What does you know? You're Sam. You're probably one of the most well equipped people in the world to do this. How would you have gone about it? Well, what you have to do is you've got to create multiple brands under one. It's really hard to have one brand and only a couple products make all this money. Right. So you'd have to have for us. We would have done and we were going to do this, but then we got bought. And the reason I got bought was a whole different reasons, which is basically I wanted to. 
um, get a payday. Like, and I wanted to, I mean, like I was, I was pretty clear about that before. Like I wanted, I yeah. like, it was cool. It was, it's awesome. I'm going to stay here, but like, it was nice to like hit, get a lotto ticket. Um, but if I wanted to be patient and do it for 50 years, which I kind of do to, to be honest, um, <laughs> I would have created trends, but for subset sub categories and you make the first newsletter, the one that people pay for only like 49 or 50 bucks. And we send you just a couple things a month. And then the second thing is you go to sub categories and you charge thousands of dollars. For example, if there was a newsletter that uh, dissected media companies, I work in the media industry and you told me it was $4,000 and I also got access to a community. I ain't going to complain about it. Right. I'm, I'm in. I'm going to do it. If there's something for digital streaming and that you know that the five analysts are smart, Twitch is going to buy that. It's not that like challenging. It's not that hard. Right. Um, and so that's what I would do for multiple industries. And the thing that a lot of newsletter writers do, which, which I've talked about this plenty of times and I don't have to talk about too much, is they do one of two things. One, they charge too little. And two, if they charge too little, they don't have a higher end back back product. You need a, back, a front end and a back end. So you need your cheap thing that gets a lot of people. And then you need your paid thing that gets only a few people, but it, right. charge, it makes a lot of money. So, so you guys at Trends is like, I don't know, 300 something a year. Uh, you could have been... $49 and then $5,000 would have been a better mix of value if you are, if you were optimizing for how do we get this thing as profitable as we can, lucrative as we can. Yeah. And had we not gotten bought, I would have done that. I would have, I was yeah. actually, we were about to change it. We were about to make that change. Right. And by the way, what happens to trends now? People still pay for it or it's free now? Um, they pay for it. We're, we might lower the price before we were either going to make that the back end or we we're going to make right. that the front end, but we were going to copy this model of a $99 thing and then a $2,000 thing. Yeah. Dude, when I see companies like this, it just makes me want to do it so badly uh, because it's like, it just seems so doable. Now I know that in practice, when I, and by the way, we get, we get heat for this sometimes because we're like, dude, it's so easy. It's so simple. We're talking like relatively, like building a successful business is hard. Okay. Like it's not also, just going to instantly we're not happen. Saying, we're not saying things are easy. Sometimes we actually do say that word easy. Really what we mean is simple. So yes. like being able to bench 500 pounds, that is um, um, s simple, like it's straightforward. It's straight what do you forward. do? You just yeah. you, here's how you get strong in the bench press: you lift a lot and then you eat a ton. Now that is <laughs> quite hard to do at, for five years, but that's that was that's the steps you take. So it's like simple. And so what we're saying is that this is simple. It is not yeah, easy. Actually, I think simple. I think weight loss is actually a better example because 500 pounds is a, is a hard thing to bench. Weight Whatever. loss is is literally simple. Where it's like, hey, you need to eat these. You know, avoid carbs, avoid sugars. You need to eat a little bit less, less calories than you're burning. And like, you should work out regularly, do kind of whatever, just try to get an hour a day of, you know, break a sweat. If you actually just did those two things and be like, hey, give it like four to five months, six months, boom, you're in great shape. Everybody knows that formula. It is actually simple. Executing it and doing it, having the discipline and having the rigor to like actually stick to it, hard, but it is way easier relatively than becoming a CrossFit champion, right? And so when we're talking about business, the scale is that it's like, it's hard to create the next Facebook. That's really freaking hard. Uh, is it hard to create a paid community? Well, I don't think most people who try it will do it, but it's relatively way easier than creating the next Facebook. So for people that are out there, they get all sensitive when we call something easy. It's not, we're not trying to mislead you. Like, yeah, it's going to take work. Most likely it won't work. It'll take some time, but we're on a scale of one to SpaceX, this is more like a one than it is a SpaceX. And like, that's a, that's a scale for, for people to think about. I completely agree. And um, I think like, now let's talk about what makes this hard. The first and is that you have to sell your soul a little bit. Now, many people will not be comfortable with this stuff. Sean is pretty comfortable with it. I think I'm <laughs> comfortable with it, but I think I'm a little bit less comfortable with it. You have to be a face sometimes. Right. You have to be, you have to say, I'm an expert at X pay me money to, for me to tell you my thoughts. Right. Second, um, well, no, this is off that. So guys like James Altucher, who we've had this podcast, he was ridiculed for doing this with Bitcoin. Everyone made fun of him. He made $60 million doing it, but he still got <laughs> mocked constantly. And shockingly, most people would actually prefer not to make the money and not get made fun of than they would to make the money and get made fun of. Um, well, the way I think about it is, most people truly will not, they, they are afraid that they're going to get them, not going to get the money and get mocked. And so they're like, fuck it, I, I won't do it. If you really had a guarantee, I think people would happily trade reputation points for bank points. But well, yeah, and perhaps, but that's a moot point because the fact is, is that most people don't, don't even want to, 
but because the first point you said of like they may not get the money at all that is also true and that's what they're 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 not going to do that so you have to do that second it's a treadmill you can't stop this is a lifetime job so if you are a content creator you i hired people to do it for me you 100 percent can do that but you're gonna you can't you have to you actually have to do the work for a, a little while in the anyway so you're gonna right. have to work 